Lando's leading the race, and they just continually are getting team orders to him, telling him to give the lead back to Piastri. Hey, Lando, we don't win championships without your team, without Piastri. Like, let give him the position back, which I thought was was warranted because they really did screw Piastri out of this win. 100% screwed him out of it. They gave him a terrible strategy compared to Lando uh, in hopes to stay ahead of the the for Mercedes, which I don't even think they had to do that to begin with, Tom, because their, their pace was so much better than the Mercedes in this race. So I don't understand why they did begin with. But then Lando to go out and just completely whine and moan about it. Hey everybody, this is Thomas from the Dega Boys channel reminding you to hit the like button if you're enjoying what you're watching. If you want to see more great content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon as well to be notified of any future videos coming out. Thanks for watching, now back to the video. Uh, when to give Piastri the spot back and then the way he reacted after the race, they didn't even really congratulate Piastri. He just like basically pouted and moaned and whined at the fight. Yeah, it was. Come on, man. Yeah. So Piastri yeah. wins. Yeah, get over yourself. Exactly. So Piastri ends up winning the race, which I'm freaking stoked about because we'll talk about that when we get to the next segment that we have here tonight. Because, uh, yeah, Tom might have might have foreseen the future here on this one, but. Yes, I'm just going to say I picked Piastri to win last week. I, I think I picked Piastri like six of the last eight weeks to win a Formula One Grand Prix. Finally did it, man. Finally did it. Holy cow. I was so happy for him. Uh, it kind of sucks that it had to be in the way that it was, though. I mean, because you could tell he was like disappointed in the way he won this race. Like, I didn't really win this race. But he's like, I should have won the race. You know, it's like, how do you celebrate that? You don't. I mean, I, and they're like, oh, that's just his personality. I'm like, no. I don't know, man. I watched him win that sprint race last year, and he was over the moon with how he did about that performance. And this was like stoic, man. He was just like, I don't know, man. I feel bad for Oscar Piastri being put in that position. And then, oh, man. Then we got into the Lando fanboy crybaby session on the internet. Everybody's saying, Formula One's rigged. It's fake. It's this and that and lando should have won that race do we not even try anymore in f1 and it's like you know who's saying this it's those casual us freaking f1 fans that don't watch f1 that's who's saying it it's it, and it's the lando fans the lando fans are annoying they're the elliot fans they're the the lulu fans they're the uh Haley deegan fans they're 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 the paddle award fans the they're the same they're all the same Manchester United. You guys are cancer. <laughs> the Lakers. The Yankees. Yeah, the Lakers. The Cowboys. I mean, they're all the same. They're all the same. <laughs> it's the they Alabama Bama really Mans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. They do a really good job of spreading the cancer too. Goodness gracious, man. I, that that was what was frustrating to me because I think that it was justified. And and then you see the tinfoil hats coming out, man. Holy cow. You know how many people have gotten on us on this channel for our conspiracy moments or conspiracy takes? But yet everybody in the moon this weekend got up on the freak. Not just F1 fans. It goes to NASCAR, too. And we'll talk about that. Everybody's throwing on their tinfoil hats. There's a conspiracy in motorsports now. And it's like the stuff that we were saying, you guys bagged on us for and now you guys are seeing this stuff and now you're calling the conspiracies and what what are, what is going on i mean i can point to so many different moments about conspiracies and motorsports and stuff that's been rigged where i got laughed at and ridiculed so like i don't want to hear your crap man i don't want to hear it this was not a conspiracy at all this was this is reality okay this is real life this is real <laughs> the sky is blue <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh let's talk about the point standings now so uh lando's cut the points gap down to verstappen down to 76 and leclerc is 103 points back in third what are we at the halfway point of the season now and it's closing up i mean people are bitching about the the seven points that lando lost in this race they're like, go, Rando's gonna lose championship by less than seven points now because of that damn race in Hungary. Where the hell is Hungary anyway? I'm not hungry, I'm starving. <laughs> like, these people, man. <laughs> it's crazy to me, dude. 